Good morning, and welcome to our, the first part of our study of the book of Philemon. This is another short book in the New Testament, only one chapter and 25 verses, located between the books of Titus and the books of Hebrew. It was written by the Apostle Paul about the years 58 to 60 AD, about the same time as the book of Colossians was written. Now Paul writes this epistle, or this letter, in a very personal vein to a friend of both he and Timothy's, a friend who was, a, a, was an apparent landowner, uh, property owner in Colossae, man of some perhaps wealth, although we don't know how great his wealth was, but he did have property and he did have servants or slaves. So there was this writing by Paul to this person, Philemon, over a third person, the name of Onesimus, who was a slave or a servant of Philemon and who had left Philemon for some reason. And we'll get into that a little bit later. But this letter was written by Paul to Philemon as an entreaty for Philemon to take Onesimus back into his, into his area, into his home, as a brother and not as a slave or a servant. So these are the three main characters of this story. There are other more minor characters, and I'll mention those as we go along. So Paul is writing to, the, writing to Philemon. And he starts off by saying, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, because he was including Timothy in this greeting to Philemon. And he called himself a prisoner of Christ Jesus. He always felt that he was a bond servant, a bond slave, a subject of Christ in everything that he did. In 1 Corinthians, he says, therefore, Whatever you do, whatever you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And this is really what he was, he was doing. Everything he did, he did for God's glory. And if he had a problem, he felt it was a problem really against Christ or against God and not against himself, even though he did end up in prison on a number of occasions. And this letter was written from prison either the prison in Rome, which most people suspect, or possibly a prison in Ephesus. But it was written while he was a prisoner, probably in Rome. Now, in Rome, he was under house arrest. He was under house arrest with a personal guard most of the time. He could not go out, but he could receive people, he could receive guests at will. And he was able to write and able to study and this is from, this is at the time when this letter was apparently written. So Paul says he was a prisoner of Christ Jesus, giving salutations from also Timothy to Philemon. He calls him our beloved friend and fellow laborer. In other words, Philemon was not only a friend, but he was also a Christian who was also laboring for the cause of Christ. Now, we don't know again anything more about Philemon because he's not mentioned in any other book of the Bible. So we don't know in what capacity he was a fellow laborer, but most people think he may have been some official or some person in a church off that area. He says, for the beloved, to also the beloved Agrippa, Epipha, which was apparently Philemon's wife, and uh, also a member of the apparent church that he was in, and to Antipippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in your house. So this was apparently a family that had a home church. Now in those days, there were few buildings for Christians. Other, the Jewish people had their synagogues, the other people had their temples, but most Christians were worshipped in small home churches. 
in Romans 16, 5, Paul says, Greet the church that is in their house. And in Colossians 4, 18, and it says, And Nymphus and the church that is in his house. So home churches were very common. And many of these churches only had three, four, five people. This may be where the, uh, where the uh, concept came, where it came in the Bible that wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am, said Christ. So this may be the fact that these churches were very small, and this may be a very small church that was in the home of Philemon, and that was in the, in the house of Archippus as well. So this is the greeting that Paul was given to this family. He says, Paul, a prisoner to Philemon, our friend and fellow laborer and fellow soldier to the church in your house. The usual greeting of Paul, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, grace always comes before true peace. So this is the introduction to this story. Paul, who was writing from prison, or from a prison setting, to a friend, Philemon, and to his family. And it was written in a personal way because Paul doesn't call himself an apostle, he just calls himself a friend. So he was writing in a very personal way to this person and it comes about that this will be about a slave or a servant of Philemon called, uh, called Onesimus who apparently ran away without due process, ran away and had come to Paul in Rome or in his prison setting. And this is what the story is about, will be Paul's entreaty to Philemon to take Onesimus back. There's a reason for this being in the Bible, because it has certain characteristics which we'll talk about later. But this is the basis of the story. Paul writing to a friend about a friend's servant or slave who ran away. We don't know the reason entirely why he, was, why he had left. But... He was asking, now Philemon, or will be asking Philemon to take him back, not as a slave, but as a brother in Christ. So this is the background of the story, and we'll get into the rest of it in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you next week. Bye for now.